If two years ago you would have told me that I would be making $30,000 a month in profit off of my online store, I would have actually thought you were crazy. What's up you guys, it's Brandon. Hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, the bell notification, and maybe give it a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button, please. All right, drum roll, the numbers are in from last month and we made almost $30,000 in profit. We had one of the best months ever in any e-commerce store that I've done. Um, once again, I didn't drop ship on this store. I don't drop ship mostly. I know how to. I think it's a cool hustle, but I actually run brands and build brands and have actual products. Um, but with that being said, this has been a long process. This has been so much work. All the fulfillment is done in-house. Um, we do all the fulfillment ourselves. We don't hire anybody. All the marketing and stuff is done mostly in-house. Graphic design is done by yours truly. So this has been a long time coming to actually be making a good sizable profit amount. And I just want to share with you guys and share how I did it, give my tricks, maybe learn some tricks from you guys. Um, let's just make a cool little community out of this. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get some actual numbers. I'm actually going to read off of my notepad because there's a lot of numbers that I want to kind of throw at you at once. All right, so let's just have the trusty notepad here. Side note, I like this. I like to use notepads with uh, squares on it, not lines. I don't know. I write better. So last month, our revenue was $68,984.82. All right. Out of that, we had obviously a bunch of expenses. We had product, we had advertising, we had this and that. They wanted their piece of the buy. You wanted your piece of the buy. She wanted hers. I get it. But my piece of the buy was actually $29,468.43 in one month. That's really good. Because there's a lot of people out here that are making like $100,000 a month in drop shipping or they're having, they have a store that makes $200,000 a month, but their expenses are like $190,000. They're making like $10,000 profit. So just because you're seeing people out here with high revenue numbers does not always mean that they have high profit margins and that they're lining their pockets with cash. I just want to talk about how we did this and how this month was able to, how we were able to make this kind of money in last month, in one month. And how we're going to be able to make this kind of money next month, and the month after, and the month after that, and the month after that. And then just continue snowballing and building this brand until we are profiting $100,000 a month, until we are profiting $300,000 a month, until we are profiting a million dollars a month. Cross your fingers. Hope to die. No, hope to make lots of money. All right, so you're asking, how did I do this? How can I do this? All right, so this has been two years in the making. And there has been months where we, our first month we made like $800. I've talked about this in another video. But we, over the course of two years, I have built a brand that is able to be shown in trade shows, that is able to have wholesale deals, that is able to self-sustain and have some brand recognition. And I guarantee if I told you my brand right now, you would probably not have heard of the brand. Maybe you would have, probably not. But it is still, that just goes to show you that with a small group of people, you are able to make a lot of money. All right, so off of our Facebook advertising, let's do drum roll, how much did we spend? We spent $28,846.10 in Facebook advertising. Now, Facebook advertising is my main space of advertising, and it is where we actually prospect all, most, if not all of our customers, or have prospected all of our customers. So. I just want to give a little deep and dive into our actual numbers on Facebook and what we actually do on Facebook. So last month, I do have to say we did not have a great ROAS. We did not. We had a 1.89 ROAS, which is, I mean, that's not super great. I like to see it two times to start scaling. So we are going to look at our ads and our campaigns and see what needs to change to increase that ROAS and lower our CPAs. But it does go to show you that we can, you can make money with a low row ads. You just have to spend a lot of money like we did. So spending $28,000 in advertising on Facebook and having a 1.87 row ads, I mean, you can do the math and you can figure out, okay, there is still some chunk of change in there that 
is they can be profit. But say your ROAS is 1.87 and you're only spending $500 a month in advertising, like, I'm just gonna dive into the Facebook advertising a little bit. I wanna show you actually some numbers and what actually is going on in our Facebook campaigns for last month. So I run a total of two campaigns. This is not something that is super different for me, but this is like a pretty natural rule of thumb. I run a prospecting campaign and I also run a retargeting campaign. So we prospect all these people and we gather all this information, we show our brand to them, and then we go and we re-show the ads to these people and try to retarget them. Hold up. There's a noise. Maybe. That is the loudest garage door I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay. It's almost done. Five years later. All right. So, our first campaign, my retargeting campaign. This is my most in-depth campaign that we have on Facebook. And it's the most in-depth in in campaign that I ran last month. So I just wanna, I need to look at my notebook again. But, um, I just want to show you, I ran a total of four, three different ad sets under this campaign. The first ad set that I ran was 180 days of people who added to cart. So basically we took the past 180 days, we retargeted them in ad if they had added to the cart in the past 180 days. But we also excluded people who have actually made a purchase in that 180 day time frame. And then our next ad set that we did, we did 90 days initiate a cart, initiate a checkout, um, and then we excluded the people who did not, um, and we excluded the people who actually did purchase in the pet in that time frame. And then we also did a retargeting campaign for all website visitors in the last 180 days. Now this one is a, it's an okay performing one, but it's really kind of a broad, almost like a prospecting again, because it's so broad that it doesn't have super good spend and doesn't make super, doesn't have a lot of conversions, but it still does work for us. We have a really low CPA on it. So that's why we keep that one going. And then we have a prospecting campaign. Our prospecting campaign is basically just a full broad campaign. Like we're targeting people. We have some like 18 to 25 and like we break it down a little bit, but as far as it goes, it's just a full rod. We're just throwing that out there and but we're letting the pixel do what the pixel is made to do and it's made to optimize and actually advertise and be work for you. And that's what my pixel is doing. And there's a fly. All right, the next thing that we did um, on top of our Facebook advertising is we actually, I talked about this in my last video, we, taught, we did our email campaigns. And last time, I'm not going to go super in-depth, I'll just link it right here. You can go take a peek at that video of how we made this money in an in-depth campaign status of our Clavio campaigns. But like I said, we used Clavio, we did, we sent out retargeting and um, abandoned cart emails, and we also sent out prospecting emails to people who have signed up to our lists. And through that, we made, drum roll, $11,761. And we spent five hundred dollars, so that's that's a win. I feel like that is a complete win for our email campaigns. And we also did text campaigns last month. Uh, we did text um, retargeting from abandoned checkouts, and we also sent out uh, two campaigns uh, through text marketing. And our text messages, I have gathered the same way that we have our email campaigns. I gathered them off of mostly just abandoned checkouts when people opt in to receive text messages from us. And we just use that our customers and we send them their and we send them their um, texts straight to their phone. And texting is great because if you can send somebody a text to their phone and they're going to open it, look at it immediately, and then if it's something like they're going to like, they're gonna click on it and boom, you have somebody you literally you can get people on your page, like our the analytics like skyrocket when I send out a text message. It's super crazy, it's almost like an addicting thing. I love to send out a, um, a campaign text and then just watch some numbers, like we like just watching people like flood in and then like it's like the phone is like 
that sound. So with our text campaigns, I use SMS bump and we generated a total of $4,191.35, which is a small piece of the pie and a small piece of the whole revenue for the month, but it's an extra almost $5,000. So you ask how much did I spend on that? I spent a total of $466.65. Now, as you can see, our campaigns on email obviously make more money for the same amount of spend roughly than our texting campaigns. Texting is super cheap and it's something that we set up automatic and so when somebody abandons a checkout they automatically get a text message through to like go back and finish their, their card. But um, I'm going to talk about that right now. Alright so I'm going to break down exactly what our text campaigns and our text automations looked like for last month. Um, we sent out a total of four different automations that are automatically triggered when somebody can, does an action on the website. For example, our first one is abandoned checkout. So after one hour, they are going to get a text message and that generated us a total of $1,217.60. And then an abandoned checkout after two hours, we kind of stock on right there, but that one still generated $1,092.30. And then we're going to send them another text message after one day of abandoning their checkout. And that generated us a total of $518.55. So as you can see, by just putting that out there and just automatically sending a text message to somebody who abandoned a cart, I mean, we made almost, we made like $4,000 just by honestly doing nothing. And just having that button clicked on, that switch clicked on to send out those text messages. <sighs> And then the last automation that we have is we reactivate our customers. So basically, if somebody hasn't purchased in X amount of time, I have it set for 90 days. If somebody hasn't made a purchase in 90 days, we try to reactivate those customers. We send them a text randomly during their normal time zone, like a good, like we send it around five o'clock time, um, five o'clock in their time zone. And that generated us a total of probably one sale because it was $41.40 is what that generated us. But... Needless to say, that's still $41 that we wouldn't have made otherwise if we wouldn't have sent that text message out. And that's probably another customer that is reactivated. We got our name back in their head and they're going to become a regular customer. Hopefully, that is the goal. All right, so now you're thinking, okay, this doesn't all add up. Where, what, what else did you spend money on? So you have to think, we spent money on our inventory, I have shipping costs, and I have... Advertising costs. We cut out the advertising because we've already talked about that and we cut out um, email and text and how much you spend on that so we can slice that out. And um, so now it's our bills really. But like I said, we do all fulfillment ourselves in house. So we don't have, I don't pay a fulfillment company. I just do all the extra work myself. Um, obviously, I have a helper and a group of people that work on everything with me, a little team but we don't work as a team every single day in an office and so we don't have an office space so that we don't have overhead there either i don't have a warehouse i have a nice garage um, which is fine and we spent a total of 79 dollars on our shopify account we spent our shipping fees were six thousand and seventy six dollars and seventy nine cents for the month and then we spent five hundred and eighty dollars and eighty eight cents for our shopify apps and those apps are what either uh, upsells or little apps that we use for um, reports and all that stuff on Shopify, the necessities. So basically that is that helps us run the business. And then last but not least, we had to have inventory because so last month what we spent on inventory, this does not account for how much we might have sold or because we hold inventory. So we purchase ahead of time and we have a big group of inventory and a big stock. So for our stock last month, we spent $9,703.65. And with that, you can see how we came up with our number of profiting $29,468.43 off of our revenue of $68,984.83. And I hope that it gave you some ideas and it gave you some fire and it makes you excited to go make money online. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas, any tips for me 
or if you want to share stories, let's do it. I love that. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Smash that like button, actually. And that subscribe button. Give the subscribe button some love down below, too. All right, you guys, but that does wrap it up for this video. But I hope you guys stay safe and make lots of, lots of, lots of money online. And I will see you guys soon.